The first resignation uh, that we've had uh, this morning uh, on the back of, of these latest Brexit developments. Vincent, tell us what's going on in London. Good morning, Belle. That's right. We've had the first resignation from government. It is the Northern Irish Minister, Shalesh Vara. He has quit this morning and sent a letter to the Prime Minister just to explain in the UK government, in the Cabinet, you have the Secretaries of State responsible for all the different areas of the state. And under them, you normally have around two or three ministers who work for them in their department. So this isn't someone who was in the Cabinet meeting yesterday, a Secretary of State. This is just the rank below that within government. But still, this could be the start of a wave of resignations. Now, I've just got his uh, resignation letter sent to me. And just to take you through it, he says the referendum offered a simple choice, either to stay or leave the EU. The result was decisive for the UK. The agreement put forward, though, leaves the UK in a halfway house with no time limit on when we finally become a sovereign nation. He talks about a halfway house. He talks about the separate deal for Northern Ireland and the threat that would leave to the integrity of the UK. But he also, I think, is a phrase to pull out. He says at the end, we are a proud nation and it is a sad day when we are reduced to obeying rules made by other countries who have shown they do not have our best interests at heart. He signs off saying it's been an honour to serve in the government, but this is a pretty damning letter. It shows that uh, someone well abreast of the issues in Northern Ireland as a Northern Ireland minister thinks that this is going to cause problems there with this new special arrangement designed to avoid the backstop, a hard border, either between the Republic and Northern Ireland or in the Irish Sea. He seems to think this is going to cause trouble. And it's an issue, Bell, we've talked about for weeks, Northern Ireland, what to do. The province itself actually voted to remain in the EU. It was like Scotland. It wanted to stay. It knew that there would be significant problems with that border, with the relationship with Ireland. People always fearful of going back to the past, of breaking the Good Friday Agreement and all the troubles that could be reflared. So it's interesting now that this is the first minister to go, one who has a very specific reason because of Northern Ireland. But we'll see now whether any more ministers or any more secretaries of state, the more senior level, the more critical level for May, decide to make a move.